Hey Team FXG, hope everybody's having a great weekend. I just want to say I'm very, very proud of you guys for executing on patience last week. I know it's extremely hard to do, but patience is a skill. It's not talked about enough and I'm very, very proud of you guys for executing on patience because you have to know when to be looking to be in the market and you have to know when to stay out. It's very, very important. Now, we have a good couple analysis coming up and they're fun ones because the entry is on the lower time frame. But as usual, we're gonna be starting on the higher time frame, the monthly and taking it down from there. As usual, the first analysis is on EuroCAD. Open up the charts, go through it with me. We're starting on the monthly as usual. All right, EuroCAD starting on the monthly. Here's our monthly upper zone. Here's our monthly lower zone. Here we have sell sensitivity on a horizontal level. So every time price comes in contact with its monthly upper zone, a wave of sell pressure will hit the market. Every time price comes in contact with its lower monthly zone, a wave of buy pressure will hit the market. This is sell sensitivity, this is buy sensitivity. And here is our monthly uptrend. As price has been respecting these higher lows, meaning that every time price comes in contact with this uptrend, we know that there's buy pressure hitting the market, which is what? That's right, buy sensitivity. What I really like about EuroCAD in the monthly time frame is that it gives us a lot of information. So let's talk about flow. What is this information that price is giving us? So we know that price has been respecting this uptrend since 2013, that's a long time. So this break, to the downside is very significant. Price sellers were able to be buyers to the downside. That means that what? Sellers have control on the higher time frame. So after we see price break in area of sensitivity, especially of such magnitude, what's that considered? That's right, that's a push. What's after a push to the downside? An exhaustion to the upside. So we're only on the monthly time frame. We identified a push to the downside, meaning that there's likely gonna be a lower time frame exhaustion to the upside before then price continues to make its higher time frame move to its monthly lower zone. So now let's take it down to the weekly for a closer look. This one will be interesting. Okay, we've taken it down to the weekly. We identified our weekly mid-range zone by identifying horizontal buy and sell sensitivity. Here's our monthly upper zone. Here's that monthly uptrend and here's that push breaking to the downside and beating not only its monthly upper to the downside, but also breaking below its weekly mid-range zone. Remember, this is also an area of sensitivity, so this means we have a very strong push. So when we look at flow and price action, there's actually not much more information that the weekly is giving us that the monthly didn't. Here's that push, which we also identified on the monthly, which means that we need to take it down a time frame to see whether or not we can capitalize on a lower time frame exhaustion before, as we know, we look for that continuational push to the downside. So it's time to take it to the daily. All right, down to the daily. We identified our daily upper zone and our daily lower zone. Horizontal sell sensitivity, horizontal buy sensitivity. Here's that strong push to the downside. And as we know, after a push to the downside, there's what? That's right, an exhaustion to the upside. So, so here we see that push and price is now becoming exhausted. Now. Many times when we see a higher time frame push, we will see also a lower time frame consolidation period before then a potential exhaustion. So price is now seeing sell sensitivity and buy sensitivity, hence our monthly, or sorry, our daily upper and our daily lower zone. If price manages to break this daily upper zone to the upside, which is our last area of sell pressure, we know that price is gonna be coming back for a full exhaustion before then a continuational push to the downside. So now let's take it to the four hour time frame and look for an entry to the upside to capitalize on this lower time frame exhaustion. All right, down to the four hour time frame. Here's how our entry is gonna look like. But before we do that, let's really simplify it to the bare bones. Very simple. We know that this is a higher time frame push. Price is now in consolidation. We're looking to capitalize on an exhaustion. Very simple, right? But this is great. Our daily upper zone and our daily lower zone gives us area sensitivity. So we know that this is our next area of sell sensitivity, hence consolidation. So if price is able to break this daily upper zone to the upside, we know that buyers beat the sell pressure to the downside. And this is our last area of sell pressure before then our weekly mid-range zone. So in the event that price is able to break this daily upper zone to the upside, we have a high probability long 
for that completion of exhaustion before then we see sell pressure for that higher time frame move to our monthly lower zone. So let's go over entry one more time. We stay patient, we let price play within this consolidation zone as long as it needs to. Once price breaks this daily upper zone to the upside, that's considered a push because that's a break of an area of sensitivity. What's after a push to the upside? Exhaustion to the downside, where then we look for price action confirmation and that would be a bullish engulfing candle close before entry to the upside. Okay, so what would make this trade invalid? Well, if price fails to break this daily upper zone to the upside, it's because there's just too much sell pressure. So, again, if price fails to break this daily upper zone to the upside, this trade becomes invalid because we know that buyers are not able to beat the sell pressure, meaning that there just won't be enough momentum to carry us to our weekly mid-range zone. That's it for Eurocab. On to the next.